What's going on YouTube? Rogue Hero here and in today's video I'm going to bring you guys my updated version of my um, Vision Destiny Mass Hero deck post Rising Rampage. Now I had a lot of time, a lot of thinking to go over the deck ever since the ban list dropped. My first version of the deck got a lot of hype because to be frank the new Vision Heroes are freaking amazing. But with that being said, the fact that we got two Stratos, and the fact that a lot of you guys called me off for not running the Trinity, and I realized why he was good. So, I mean, my deck was already good before Trinity, but now that we have Trinity, it's gonna be amazing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my updated list, show you guys a combo you can do with Trinity, and show you guys some test hands. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kinda cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't trying to move. Niggas staring at me, what you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. Alright guys, so we're going to shoot straight into the monsters first, then we go over to the um, extra deck. I do not have my side deck built, only because I haven't had time to go to locals, do the work. Working my ass, doing overtime, but <laughs> that's neither here or there. Hopefully, we won't have overtime soon, and I can play this deck at locals, finally. Done some testing online, and the testing online has been great. Uno, those straddles, so... Obvious speaking, you run two straddles. Hell, if this card was at three, you run three. It is the best card in the hero deck, hands down. It brings the whole hero deck together. And honestly, combo starter, things of that nature, you run this card. Two Vions. Now, I run two Vions. Some people run three in their builds. I run two because you really only need two to start running off your vision hero um, combo plays, which I'll show you guys in the later in the video. Two increase, because that you run the two, two increase because you run the um Forest, and I'm only running two forests because forest um, starts the combos. Now, this deck is not 100% vision hero dot deck how a lot of people have been running it online. And I know why they've been running it that way because of Trinity and the combos you can do with vision hero Vion. But in my build, personally, those combos, while they're good, I don't want to have too much reliance on just forest. I don't, I want this deck to be draw forest or bus for you guys that do not know what these do you pick the card out of your hand to send this card to the spell and trap card zone from your deck to the spell and trap card zone then you can use this effect to tribute a hero monster which you're going to tribute to forest of course to bring itself out and then special summon a vision hero from deck which is going to be vion and then you start comboing from there so i think two and two is good especially the fact we got two stratoses i don't see why people run through it it's my get it but i don't agree with the ratio only because like you're just overclogging and you're going to overdraw it at that point in my personal opinion Two honestly Neos. <laughs> now this is a card a lot of hero players mistakenly, in my opinion, been running as a one of. I don't get it. Like this plus that is like game, especially for playing as like a Danger Thunder Dragon player, and they have the um, big beefy field, or they have a weak field and they think you can't get over it. Like, like I've never came in a case where two was bad. Like perfect ratio. You don't need three, and one definitely ain't enough. Solid Soldier for your combo plays. For you guys that have not seen my original combo video, you guys can click right here and see that combo video. But essentially, you only need one Solid Soldier. You don't need more than one. I get the fact that he stuff summons from the hand, but the fact that we have Sparrows now, have running through these is outdated. Um, one is fine, mainly for the poly combos. Two Shadow Mist, because the Shadow Mist, obviously, he's the original um, hero card. Well, not the real original hero card, but he's the original mass hero card that I do. Going to Dark Lot Turbo, you still run them at two. Three is unnecessary, but I won't hate you if you run three. Um, three Ash Blossoms, I, I believe I run a hand trap still. Like, I don't see how people, some people can go without running not hand traps. I think even in Danger Thunder Dragons, a deck that does not need hand traps should still run um, Ash Blossom because it stops too, way too many cards. Now for the Destiny Hero Engine, one Disc Commander, draw hands, Celestial, two Mallets. This commander is good because if you ha go into a case where when you fusion destiny and you can't do anything when your um, fusion destiny hero monster dies and he gets the ability to special summon from the graveyard, you want to bring out that disc commander to draw too. So that's really good right there. Mali for combo plays, Celestial because he helps you refurbish your hand. He's a better bubble man. Um, draw hand because he allows you to get an extra body on board after you fusion destiny. So he's really good. And of course, starting to spells three fusion destiny. If you are playing heroes, I repeat, if you are playing this deck and not running fusion destiny, don't play this deck. Do not play this deck because you're not gonna do well. 
You might do good at locals. You might even do okay at regionals. But Destin, Fusion Destiny is just too good not to run. Like, it's literally a free body on board. And the Destiny Hero Fusions are not bad. So, run Fusion Destiny. That's all I'm going to say about that. Three mass change. Um, staple, you want to bring a Dark Law. He's one of the most important cards in the deck to run. One Foolish Burial. This is a change I had to the deck. So, my original um, build, I had Twin Twisters in here. I never really felt the need to use Twin Twister per se. So, I decided to take out both Twin Twisters for one for Foolish Burial. For instances where I can dump my forest in the graveyard and start some combo plays. And, of course, for the second Stratos. Twin Twister, obviously, and whatever type of side deck I make will be my side deck. Because I feel like you still need it for decks like Ultra Guys and people who want to run them Goofy Trap and Spell decks. So, yeah, man. You still want to run um, back or removing your side deck. But moving on. One Monster Born because it's there. Really good. Um, help. It's a, it's, a, it's a player extender. Hero Lives. Two Destiny Draw. If you're running a Destiny Hero engine, I highly recommend for somebody who's been playing the Destiny Heroes before everyone hopped on the fucking hype train, run at least two Destiny Draws. One, you're not going to see it enough. Two is just right. You have Stratos at three. You don't want to be dead drawing those Destiny Heroes in your deck because of the Fusion Destiny plays. And I've never found myself personally drawing into the destiny hero stuff with a d draw and being mad and i've never found myself dead drawing d draw because i'm always able to resolve it because i always have a lot of field pressure on my opponent and this is when all the decks like ultra guys danger thunders was at full power so now that everything's a little neutered i have more of a fighting chance and having these on the board is gonna be good one rota consistency three e-call consistency poly for combo plays and to round off the spells, um, three card by the graves. Um, I, l one thing a lot of hero players I know have been running, a lot of hand traps, which is fine. Like, if you can fit the hand traps and you don't want to run a card by the graves because you feel like you're not going to need them, go for the hand trap route. And some people are running Solemn Judgment at three. I don't, I'm not mad at you with that, with that as well. However, I found myself, this was the testing I've done. You really don't need hand traps. You want to play this deck kind of high dangerous Thunder Dragons play where it's like they're going to have to stop all your plays to stop you because literally with Forest, you don't have to waste a lot of your plays because you can go Fusion Destiny. That's, that's a combo. Forest, that's a combo. Um, just making Dark Law is a strong feel. So there's multiple ways to do different things in this deck. And yeah, man, it is what it is when it comes to that. So right now, I'm about to show you guys a quick little combo you guys can do with um, Trinity. So yeah, man, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm about to show you guys a little cool little combo you guys can do with Stratos and Forest. Now, in this combo, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't practiced it, so this is gonna be interesting for me to do. But essentially, any hand you get with Stratos and Forest, bro, is gonna be game over. So we're gonna start off by going, let's just go ahead and normal summon your Stratos. Search out, let's say, for example, it could be anything at this point, you're in a really good position. Let's just say you want to get rid of this commander, right? You're going to play your forest, special summon, um, Sunet, bring out your increase. Where is my increase at? Down there. You're going to use your increase effect now to tribute off your forest to special summon a vision hero from your deck. Special summon. Vion, Vion's effect is going to kick in now. You're going to go ahead and... You know what, since this is a Trinity combo, because you can do way more, more right now. Since this is a Trinity combo, we're just going to go strictly Trinity. You're going to send your Shadow Myth to go ahead and add your Honest Neos. Now you're going to go ahead and um, banish your, with your Vion's effect to banish, to go ahead and add a Polymerization. And off back right there, you got Poly. You just Poly off these three guys. Make Trinity. It starts off at 5,000. And right now you have Honesty Neos. He's 7,500. You can just attack, attack, and attack for game. Now, obviously, there's multiple different ways you can OTK. And I'm not going to make it seem like this is the only way you can OTK. But for the purpose of this video, I want to show you guys something cool you guys can do with Trinity. If you guys want more exclusive combos, once again, I did do an extensive combo video for the Destiny Hero deck. You guys can click right here if you have not seen it. Now I'm going to show you guys some test hands because I really believe this deck has some really solid plays you can make. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one test hand because the consistency of this deck is amazing. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys a quick test hand you can do. Let's go on first. I don't know what the hand's going to look like, but let's just see what the. the I just want to show you guys the consistency and power of this deck and how it goes. So let's see what we did. Two, three, four, five. And this hand's insane. Okay. <laughs> you got guaranteed Dark Law, obviously. So what you want to do, um, play Hero Lives because it's a free card. Get that out the way. Pay half. You always want to get your free summons out of the way. Get that out the way. That mass change. Let's see if it's lead on the field. Let's lead it for everybody. Now, we actually haven't used our hand yet. We're going to go ahead and double e-call. Because why not? We're going to go ahead and add Stratos. And Stratos. Because why not, right? Yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and play Stratos. We got the Dark Law play already. And then we're going to go ahead and add Forest. Why well, am I keep putting it? I have a bad habit of putting stuff away. Yu Gi Oh! habits. Okay, let's just say Special my Forest. Because I shouldn't have added that Stratos, but whatever. You guys can call me on the comment section down below for that effect to send increase tribute special summon effect to dump we're gonna dump mally because why not remember this is a going first play by the way so we look at this field we got going first and we're locked into um hero monsters by the way so keep that in mind and we're gonna go ahead and um link because we definitely want to keep some link oh before we link don't forget Keep forgetting that banish for Polly Link to bring out your that guy cross guy effect tribute add him because you don't need him again. Then you're gonna go ahead and let's see, we already normal summoned already, so yeah. Maybe you had to use Stratos in that hand to banish Mally. To go ahead and bring out another Mally. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty good right now. Go ahead and poly. Adoration. And that's yeah, pretty much pretty solid, good first turn hero hand. Pretty average. You got the dark log, you got the adoration, you got the destiny draw in your hand. You got the increase for the follow up play on the next turn. Now, in all honesty, I probably should have e called something differently. I just want to give you guys an example in a rushed way because I'm trying to get the video done. But yeah, man, um, pretty solid first turn. This is what you can expect from this deck. And if you were going second, of course, them plays would have been different. But going first, you really just want to focus on getting out Dark Law as swiftly as possible. So to me, you guys think, comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. Subscribe for more. This is Rogue Hero, and I'm signing out. Peace.